The South Dakota Community Foundation strives to make South Dakota the best. Joining me now is Beth Massa and Seth, Seth Vanderberg here to talk more about their new par partnership with the Mammoth site. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Yeah. I hear we have a summer camp coming up. What is that going to look like? Yeah, <clears throat> so with our summer camp programming, basically what we're kind of doing is giving kids a chance to experience science kind of hands on. So they get to basically dig at a simulated dig site from excavation, for, you know, first discovery through mapping the site, recording everything they're finding making plaster jackets and then all the way on through basically you know every step of the process from fossil discovery to uh, that fossil going in a museum. Amazing and you guys had um, a chance to be a part of this um, where did you guys step in for this? Well they applied for a grant from the South Dakota Community Foundation and um, we were happy to support that grant and uh, help them with this project and I think it's also a really great reminder for those of us who um, you know might think of organizations in grant terms and and all of those things, but it's great to take a trip down there to see what they're doing too. So, as local folks, yeah, yeah, it definitely seems like a really great um, educational experience. What can um, kind of kids hope to learn. Yeah. So one of our my big goals with a lot of our programming, and this is no exception, is to get kids to, uh, basically as true an understanding of science as possible. You know, you know, seeing that science is a process and not just like basically a list of things that we know, you know, and seeing how that process is done, giving them a chance to, you know, see that, you know, some uh, part of science is, you know, making a guess, you know, f gathering data, seeing whether or not that, that, you know, a hypothesis was right or wrong and kind of building from that. And so this is just kind of a great way that they get to, you know, be a part of that. Yeah, and so I hear that it is free, and what is kind of the benefit of making this available to every kid in the area? Absolutely, so one of the really nice things about having the program be free is that it gets as many kids involved as, as basically as want to be able to. There's a very low barrier to entry, meaning basically there's nothing stopping a kid from being involved other than just, you know, wanting to be there, which is, you know, kind of the goal. Awesome, yeah, and how can parents kind of get their kids registered? What should parents know before the camp? Yeah. Basically, uh, it's a, it's a five-day camp that goes about from about 12.30 to about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And to get registered, just head over to our website, and basically you can, you can kind of find follow the link from there. All right, is there any uh, kind of safety tips we need uh, to learn? Basically, a big thing is, uh, you know, you know uh, safe digging, you know, making sure you're always bringing water, you know, kind of this, the kind of the normal safety stuff for working in the outdoors. Right, sunscreen, water, Absolutely. snacks maybe. Is there going to be any snacks provided at all? Uh, so uh, there aren't our snacks provided as such, but we do have a shade structure that was uh, part of the, the grant provided by the oh, South perfect. Dakota community yeah. foundation so it's 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 not just you know working out in the sun so to speak but it is outdoors awesome great well thank you both so much for joining me this yeah, morning you bet. i'm looking forward to see what kind of comes from this partnership you guys yeah. created thank you so much awesome we'll be right back